this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I'm back with a refresher for the bowl cozy. And um, I sewed another book pillow. Everything went great on that one. So um, I might make one more. That will give me five. I think that might be almost all I can push out. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, I decided to do a quick video for the bowl cozy. I have done this probably four or five times on my channel. I do have some requests to do it again, so here I am. Um, but anyway, I am going to be using these fun fabrics. Y'all, this ramen noodle fabric is so fun. I absolutely just love it. Um, but what I've done is I've cut my squares. You're going to need two fabric squares and you need to cut them at 10 by 10. You're going to need two pieces of your fusible fleece and I cut it at 10 by 10 and I've already fused it onto my fabric and I did that for this one too. I'm going to do this one with two different colors on my fabric because I thought they were coordinating pretty well. I think this fabric is just... It's just darling. I'm hoping I can find a few more. Maybe maybe they'll get some more in soon. I'll have to look back. Okay, so let's get on with this. This is a beginner friendly. If you're new at sewing, you can do this. So don't think you can't. You can, okay? If you watched me do this before, thank you for returning. Um, this might inspire you to pull out your sewing machine and do it again. Um, it's it's an easy, great um, way to make bowl koozies super simple and y'all let me just tell you it's one of my very best sellers at my craft fair this is one of my top sellers i have made them the last four years i believe four years and i sell every one of them every time and so anyway i even have like people that if like posted on facebook or something like that they even tell me okay when's the craft fair and i had one lady show up like right when this fair started and literally bought like six of them uh, immediately. So anyway, and also too, let's just go ahead and go over pricing. I'm going to do mine for $9 this year. This fabric, um, the fabric, things like that I've noticed have went up a few cents. So my bowl koozies are going to be $9 this time. I did them $8 last year. And I still sold them all. I think $9 is still very fair. So anyway, and plus two, I have some in my kitchen when I first made the very first ones. And I washed the punk out of them and they are still holding up and still going strong. So you can't go wrong with these. Okay, let's get on with this. Oh, and also too, before we get on with this, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I love you guys and I appreciate your support. I really, really do. So anyway, let's get going. Okay, so I'm at my sewing machine, as you can see. Um, people have asked me what kind of sewing machine I have. Let's see if I can get it out. Maybe I can show you. I have a Singer Modern Quilter. It's a workhorse. I'm really thinking about getting another one. Maybe it'll be a goal for 2023 to get another one. Um, but this one's still working great. It's just kind of big and bulky, but it's a workhorse shawl. I don't know if they sell this kind anymore, but it will do quilting and sewing. So I hardly ever use it for the quilting part, but it's nice to have it. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is I've got my fabric and I'm going to show you. I've got my fabric down and this is at one corner, okay? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take one corner and you're going to sew like an X going all the way down to the other side of the fabric. So, here we go. This is like X marks the spot. If, you're, if you are worried about not sewing straight, just do the best you can. You can use a... a maybe a marker that's um, invisible marker or something like that and you can it'll iron off but um yeah don't worry about it okay and i like to chain piece mine so it kind of saves a little time so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna sew this one whenever i do my bowl koozies and i am master choosing them to sew them I usually have all my squares, everything fused together, and then I and then I chain piece everything and make a whole bunch at one time. So, 
Okay, so I've got that I like to get my threads off. If I call it strings, just don't come for me. It's all good. I am I sometimes call it strings. My mama was kind of like that too. So anyway, okay, so as you see, I've got it sewed. I'm gonna start go to the other. I'm gonna go to the other corner. And I'm gonna start that and I'm gonna make it from that corner to the opposite corner. You're sewing it like an X. And this all this does is hold your feasible feasible fleece in place. That's all it does. Okay, grabbing my other piece. Full koozies, I try to find like really fun fabrics. I like fun type fabrics. Okay, let's take that up. Okay, I'm gonna cut these apart and let's get on with the next step. Okay, so as you see, X marks the spot on my bowl on my fabric. All you're gonna need to do now is you're going to fold it in half just like this. And I'm gonna use my grid on my mat here as a guide, okay? So I've got this lined up. You wanna make sure the tops are even. And what you're gonna do is you're going to make a mark going in two inches. So that's one inch and that would be two. And you're gonna go up one inch, okay? You're gonna do the same thing on this side so there's two and there's one. Okay, so we're gonna sew this and then I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, so I've sewed from each point on each side. And what you're gonna need to do is I like to go ahead and trim off. Don't cut over that seam and this reduces bulk. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that off. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up and you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it and you're gonna match these up as well. Make sure you're matching them up nice and nice and even. That way you sew it straight. Sometimes I'd say things aren't perfect and these aren't perfect, but it does help to match these up. So I like to kind of fold mine just like this. Press it down, and I'm gonna do the same thing up one inch in two inches, okay? So, trying to see what I did with my pen. Oh, my pen went under me from my sewing machine. Okay, okay, so I'm going up one inch and in two inch. Now, when I sew these, I don't always measure. I just kind of know where to go and but for the video, if this is your first time, um, yeah, no way I did that for you. Okay, I'm gonna sew these. Okay, so I got both of them sewed. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my clips off the top. Okay, so now what you're going to need to do is you're gonna open it up and see this is how it will look. Okay, it's got the bowl shape now. Okay, isn't that fabric so cute? So I'm gonna open up the other one. So cute, I love the ramen noodles. I don't know, I might not be able to sell the ramen noodle. I might have to make for my husband and I. I think it's so cute, I don't know. Maybe I'll sell them and make some more. That's what I'll do. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it where the pretty side of the fabric is out. And it doesn't look like there's any kind of directional print. It's kind of like these are just kind of going any which way but can. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to get it put in here. So arrange it, get it kind of down, down inside. And you want to start matching up your corners. Now, 
friends, do not skip this part. Pin, pin this. Um, I always pin these because easily your fabric can move and you will have, you will have a pretty wonky looking bowl koozie if you don't sew it where all these corners and everything meet, okay? So I always like to start and pin my corners and then go back in in the other ones okay okay so I got my corners and now y'all with the, I'm thinking about this fabric is so cute wouldn't it be cute to make little um, soup bowl gift gift baskets and give light to a neighbor or something or wouldn't this be cute if you're giving gifts to a college student because you know they're usually like a starving college student not really cause starving, but you know, they're on a budget and you know, and all that. And they, I guess I hear that they eat a lot of ramen. I don't know. Um, but wouldn't that be cute if you put like a bowl and put some ramen and put one of these koozies, maybe some chopsticks or something would be darling. Okay. I think that'd be so cute. Okay. So now as you see, this is how I got it. I've got, I panned it all the places, all the corners and all the seams. Okay. Now I'm going to take it back to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew all the way around, leaving an opening about this big to turn it back inside out. Okay, so I like to start on a corner, and I like to start down about maybe close to an inch. That way then when I stop, I'll stop right here, and I'm able to just pull it through this opening and flip it out and then do a top stitch. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm taking out my first pin. And I'm gonna get it over here and I'm gonna put my presser foot down. Use my down feature. If you don't have a down feature, it's okay, but I like to use mine. I'm starting off with a couple stitches and I'm gonna back stitch because and I like to pull my threads underneath there. I like to back stitch because you know when you're turning it inside out, you do a little bit of pulling and you don't want anything to happen to your cute little cozy. Okay, so I've got that, I've turned. And I'm gonna start sewing all the way around the perimeter of our bowl koozie. Uh, and you can do whatever you like as far as putting these. I just kind of sew over them and they all work out fine. Uh, Y'all, I'm not a professional sewer. I just sew for crafts and, and um, I just do the best I can, and that's all I, I would th hope that you would think to do for yourself is just do your best. Holding down that corner. Okay, when you get over here to the corner, I'm going up because I need to make sure. Sometimes this, the, this thread cutter, y'all, there we go. Um, as you see, my fabric shifted a little bit, so I want to make sure I kind of move it back where it's going to be back together, okay? It's okay. You can pick this part out if you'd like, but I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to kind of move it and try to keep it right in place and keep myself going. And so, when you get to the... When you get to where your pins are, don't sew over your pins. Holding it in place. And we'll get over here, I'm gonna to do a flip around, making sure everything is still even. So. Your bowl koozie's half done. Your bowl koozie half done. And I tell you, the hardest part to me is turning it inside out. Because sometimes I get to going and I make my little opening too small. And I have to struggle to get it turned. Okay. 
I am three weeks, three weeks from today. Oh, look at that. And I almost didn't do it. Oh, look at that. Okay, let me get up here. Pull this up. Look at that. See, I almost went too far. See, I saved myself. Um, I am three weeks from today is my craft fair. And um, I'm excited. I'm almost ready. Okay, cut your little corners here. Cuts down bulk on the corners, okay? So, I am excited. And I think the hardest part is getting there and setting up and just making sure everything's right. Because sometimes at 8.30, people start showing up when it shouldn't even start till 9, you know? So, I just go ahead and start selling. I um, think what I'm going to do is I've got a little... It's going to be hard for me to flip it inside out. So, all I'm going to do... Y'all, see, I make mistakes just like the next of them, and I got to thinking about my craft fair, and that's it. So, you know what? Just take your seam ripper, take out a few of your, just a few stitches, just so it doesn't kill your hands when you're turning it, and there you go. I, prices averted. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to take this, and you're going to flip this inside out. So has anybody started their Christmas shopping? I am about half done. Um, that's, I'm just trying to do it because with the craft fair in the mix of everything, my sweet brother and his wife are coming next weekend to see us for the weekend. My brother has work to do here next, here in Dallas this coming up week. So look at that. And so they're going to come and spend, I think, two days with us. So, okay, make sure you get all your corners poked out the best that you can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a press. And then we're going to do a top stitch. Okay, so this is what it looks like all nicely ironed. And this is the opening right here where I left open. So I went ahead and ironed it where the seams go inside or the raw edges are inside. And this is where I know I need to make sure to really get this good because that's the opening. I like to start sewing like over here so I can capture that first. That way, and go ahead and remove my clips. So let's get back to the sewing machine. Okay, and before I get to sewing, I like to make sure that my seams that go together on the sides, I've got them kind of flattened out. It's easy for them to kind of roll under, but I like to make sure they're flattened out. And I'm just going to use the edge of my presser foot as a guide along the edge of my fabric to sew this around and I'm just gonna do let me get this thread there we go um, I'm gonna start I'm gonna do a little back stitch here start again and when I get to that seam I'm gonna pull out my first clip Kind of pivot. And I'm going to remove my clips and hold down this area so I can make sure to get this nice and sewed so, so down. When you get to your corner, just take it and pivot. And I'm going to make sure I'm lined up right on that edge. Okay, and I'm going to hold this in place and top stitch all the way around. Now I am using a two and a half stitch length, just a straight stitch. My thread, as always, I always use Guterman thread. I That's my favorite thread, and I probably got it at Joann's. That's usually where I buy my thread, and I'm just using basic white. I've gotten to where I don't change my thread a lot. I usually use a lot of white when I sew. So, I get a lot of people that ask me, ask me like the stitch length and stuff. Hopefully, 
you have stuck around long enough to hear that part because I get people that ask me in the comments. Okay, I'm making sure this part is rolled out. So I'm about halfway and I'm gonna sew all the way around. Whenever I chain piece everything, I, I can actually make a bowl cozy. Once I've cut, I can usually have it sewed up in about 20 minutes. So I think a price of $9 for my bowl koozies is a good price. Because I use, um, I can make at a one fat quarter, I can make um, two bowl koozies. So because I'm doing two different colors. So pretty much one bowl koozie, you could do one, you could do a fat quarter. Because it's 18 by 21. Okay, I'm making sure I'm going slow, making sure I get down here around this edge. Okay, I'm on my last side. Turn it and I'm going to sew right down to the end. If you have a walking foot on your machine, this could be a good time to use it. My machine, I always say it's a workhorse and it usually handles it just fine. Okay, I'm back to the beginning. Do a back stitch. It's all sealed in. All that's left to do is give it a quick press and take a look. So, trim my threads. And I'm going to press it, and I will be right back. Okay, so as you see, here is our completed bowl koozie. Look how cute that is. I love it with the two different prints because they really kind of go together. And now all that's left to do is add a bowl and add a, pack, add a pack of ramen noodles. Y'all, ramen noodles, I don't know about y'all, they're a staple in my house and they probably are not the best for you, but they are delicious and they're kind of good when you're in a rush and just need a little quick lunch or something. So anyway, that is it. The nice thing about this is you can flip it and you can just kind of put everything off and you can make it reversible so yeah I usually do them the same si same colors and all that on the, each side but I kind of like this I kind of like the ramen noodle print on the inside can't decide y'all I can't decide tell me which side you like I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for stopping by I hope you love this refresher check out your Walmart to see if they have any cute ramen noodle fabric and um, I'll talk to you in the next one love you guys bye